7,000 years of civilization, empire and dynasty, mysticism, theology, religion and philosophy, science, mathematics, medicine, poetry, prose, literature, architecture, astronomy and technology. This is the land of the Aryans. This is Iran Unveiled. Welcome to Iran Unveiled everyone. In this video and in line with the channel's new direction, I want to comment on online resources, specifically other YouTube channels that I think provide really useful information for those of us who are interested in Persian history and culture. So today the channel I want to discuss is that of a philosopher and lecturer in the United States by the name of Wes Cecil. I started following Wes on YouTube some years back and I have found his work to be both insightful and compelling. He is an expert in his subject matter but he also has um, the ability to convey complicated philosophical theories in an easily digestible and quite often humorous way. The specific work I want to draw your attention to is his talk regarding Zarathustra the founder of the Zoroastrian faith, a Persian faith, and arguably the inventor of monotheism. So Wes begins his talk about history and culture. He describes history as the past we remember, and culture about being the history we don't need to remember, which is an interesting way of characterizing it. He talks about culture as the water we swim in, and I think that's a really useful way to useful way to think about culture. Culture is all around us and therefore easy to take for granted. However, if we allow ourselves to be curious and ask questions about why things are the way they are and how we, we can come to some surprising and insightful revelations about ourselves and the world we live in. Wes talks about Goethe and other European cultural heroes such as Nietzsche Goethe, a German thinker and author of many books, of which Faust is probably his most famous work, he pronounced the Persian poet Hafez as God. <laughs> Quite a big pronouncement. Hafez had such a, uh, such a profound influence on Goethe that he took it upon himself to learn the Persian language in his 80s. And that's quite a staggering thing to feat. And he did this to basically get a better grasp of the poet's wisdom. Wes also talks about Nietzsche and his seminal work, Thus Spake Zarathustra. What's really interesting to learn is that this supposedly foreign and alien culture, the Persian culture, was familiar to these thinkers. Once they had better acquainted themselves with the literature, he speaks about Persian culture resonating with these intellectuals. And I think that that's really important to understand, given the current climate of alienation towards Iran today. If you get a chance to watch his talk, drop a comment below and let me know what you think. I would like to invite Bess uh, on, the, on, the, on the channel and pick his mind further about the influence of Persian culture. So let me know if that's something you would like to see. And um, on that note, over and out.